good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Native Washington 85, also known as Holly the Board and her fur babies. So last night, I didn't get any sleep. Very to death about Yona. Not pretty much. Um, the surgery, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, this is you know a routine thing that the doctors do with puppies. This is with a hernia repairs or whatever it is. <clears throat> but it's afterwards he will have um, my husband calling it a satellite. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. I was calling it some kind of cone, um, so I really don't, I'm not sure, I just know it, it's going to some, it's going to go over his head to protect him from getting to his incision and opening it. So what I'm worried about is the three older ones. Yana, if you haven't noticed by now, Yana, he loves to eat, sleep. <laughs> that's it basically and then when he's wanting to be on and he is full on he's, I mean he's not lazy or anything I mean he, he you know he is on don't get me wrong um I want to say on as much as you know a puppy being a puppy and uh, uh, running around uh, fussing and Messing everywhere. And guys, let me tell you, it's stressful, but I, we love it all at once. And, and it, it, but, I mean, anyways, it frustrates us and we love it at once. I guess so I just said that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> our babies, they chew on stuff. They're, I think, uh uh uh, watch my hand. Zena is teething, so, and what does um, Yona do? Watch a sissy teeth on and stuff, tearing up stuff, so we're having to keep an extra eye on that because you don't want your animals to chew on no wood or anything because guess what? That wood pieces, are, you can get splinters, splinters, they hurt. <laughs> Not only that, if you swallow them, guess what? If they cause a splinter, they can get the splinter inside and you never know. Anyways, that's just my anxiety speaking for you because I worry about things like that constantly. And I guess that's just perks of being a mother, I guess, also. Mm -hmm. But guys, I am worried that whenever afterwards he's going to come to and he's going to feel a little bit better and he's gonna to wanna to play, he's gonna to wanna, to, and <laughs> my husband is the kind of person like right now, he's, it is driving him nuts. He can't sleep right now just because he has one, and a hernia, and he worries about it every day. And after this, hopefully he'll feel a whole lot better about it, and won't be so worried about it well we're just worried about the healing process because of the other dogs <laughs> so prayers on that guys we appreciate it <laughs> we're gonna need it <clears throat> so we gave him a bath yesterday so he's clean let's walk back this way guys come on now So he's clean, and then he wasn't allowed to eat after a certain time, um, and then no water after midnight, and so he didn't have anything to drink, eat or drink after midnight, and he is a big eater and a big drinker. <laughs> and you know how it feels to be hungry, and that baby, he's gonna be hungry. And I just hoping that he sleep. I try not to wake him when we was leaving. Uh, to sleep as long till the time to leave. 
and then let it come out so that way he's not up very long, you know, wanting to get something to eat or be hungry for very long. I, I hated that, that he, I mean, and then you get to think about it, you know, he really ain't supposed to have anything to drink after midnight anyways, he's supposed, but it's, it's the fact that he is not supposed to have, I think is what bothers me. And he don't get stuff to eat after a certain time. It's just, I guess it's the mind thing. As everything else is, thing is, it's crazy. But yeah, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of exercise in. And well, though you see that they wanted to eat grass for some strange reason. Um, <laughs> whatever, Rocky. Um, they got trained back up, but we still, I still wanted them to get a little bit exercise, so that's why we're still walking. Mm -hmm. But just because they were doing something wrong doesn't mean that they need to be punished because, you know, we, we're going to be gone for a couple hours. <laughs> and see, that's another thing I worry about is... My husband, he's like, we're only going to go down a couple hours. They can go four or five hours. Up. I know. I know. But it's just the fact that uh, I worry. <laughs> it's okay to do that. And I guess it would be wrong. Hey, get quit. Now you're getting dirty. Quit. I guess it would be wrong if if I wasn't worrying. And maybe, maybe we would be should worry if I wasn't worried <laughs> about the puppies. And if you haven't heard me say it once or twice, three or four times before, Ginger is three years old and Rocky, he's one. And, uh, I see, you know, I was going to say Ginger has a birthday coming, but she doesn't. I'm thinking of something else. I have birthday coming up. And I am going to be... I don't even know what we're going to 37, I think, when they're 8. Or the other way around, I'm not sure. <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> I think I'm 37, I'm going to be 38. I was born in 85. Mm. Come on, baby. And guys, the weather has been really, really hot in the triple digits. And even the heat index feeling like it. Just imagine what it is with the dogs that have to stay outside constantly on a chain. Guys, if they do stay outside, make sure they have shade. Shade, fresh water, and clean water. And um, a great one of their ideal would be is to buy a kiddie pool, one of the plastic kiddie pools, put some water in it, and let them be able to wade in it for during the day. You know, sometimes we have them ones that love to tear things up, but once they realize what it's for, like maybe you can spend a couple of days um, keeping an eye on them, know, hey, if you don't chew it up, you know, you, this is what you can do with it. You know, um, teach them how, to know how it's done before you actually leave them with the pool if you do have one that loves to chew things up like that. <laughs> Just let them know what it's good for it. And they'll say, hey, this is good for me. I won't chew it up. I'm not saying that will work. I'm just saying, you know, give it a shot. <laughs> Never hurts. Never hurts to try. But having a pool outside will keep them warm and so they can wade at least. Because their weather is going hot, hot, hot. Alrighty guys, we're fixing to get these two put up and wake the other two if they ain't already, ain't already up and I'm getting ready to head on the road guys to get y'all off. Give me a thumbs up.